Today, we're going to talk about hood Christmas versus rich Christmas. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Your boy Sin been on both spectrums of broke and having bread. Now, I ain't no multimillionaire, nothing crazy like that. But I got some lucrative YouTube channels. You know what I'm saying? My anime channel, my two animation channels, my fucking god damn. God damn. I'm about to I'm about to click out on this shit. I'm about to click. All right, my <laughs> My fault, bro. I don't know what the fuck just happened, bro. Had a brain fog or something. But today we're here to talk about, you know, how it is to have Christmas when you when you down on your luck, when you down on your dick, and when you having Christmas when you up. Now I ain't gonna lie, poor Christmas. We can talk about that first. I'm way more accustomed to having a hood Christmas. Now I ain't gonna lie, being rich or you know my version of rich, cause I was always a broke nigga for my first you know formative years. Compared to being in the hood is black and white. <sighs> I probably shouldn't have phrased it like that, but <laughs> that's how I'll be feeling anyway, bro. The night before Christmas, as you know, being in the hood isn't really the same your feelings aren't uh, as prominent your excitement isn't as outward because honestly you're not really expecting anything you know tomorrow you're gonna get up go down and you might got a gift or two there but there's no stockings there's no no cookies there's no you might not even have a christmas tree honestly i'm gonna be honest with you there were some years where my mom couldn't afford one not even like a Dollar Tree plastic drum. Uh, not Dollar Tree, but Dollar Store, Dollar General, the same shit, whatever. But my point is, I wasn't as excited growing up, you know, having Christmas as, a, you know, street because you just really don't have much. You know you're going to get up and things aren't going to be as uh, cool as some of your other friends, <laughs> to put it lightly. Now, I'm going to talk about a very specific Christmas that I had that was really trash. Now, I've talked about some of my other Christmases on here before, but this one in particular was bad. Now, my mom, she tried her best to make sure that me and my brother had things that we wanted, but sometimes it just didn't pan out that way. You know, my mom, she was real sick and y'all know that. So she didn't have the like energy to work all the time. Sometimes she just got government assistance and, you know, it was up to me to figure things out as far as oh, what are we eating tonight? What are we doing? What are we doing? And I didn't want life to be that way, but. <laughs> you know especially not at that age but it is what it is now this one christmas in particular my mom was not working at all bro it was it was bad i mean bummy christmas poor christmas bro at this point i was eating with sandwiches like bread and you wish it was meat on that motherfucker you feel me it's, you eating mayonnaise on that bitch syrup sandwiches <laughs> Like it's bad. I'm using the oven as heat some nights because our heater is out. Like it be times randomly the water be off for a day or two because we couldn't pay the bill or the electric. Like bad. This whole year in particular was terrible. And I'm not no stranger to not having. But this Christmas, man, it was run down. My mom asked me specifically what I wanted for Christmas. And I remember asking her this year for a PlayStation 1. Now, I didn't get the PlayStation 1 until like two years after this. And by the time I got my PlayStation 1, the PlayStation 2 had already came out. So it was like, I still felt like I got a hand-me-down gift. <laughs> but my mom was like, okay, I'm gonna see what I can do. Now, normally my mom would just say, baby, I can't get this. So the fact that she said she was going to try made me feel like I was definitely getting this gift. And if I got this PS1, I don't even care if I didn't have no games with it. I would play demo disc. As long as I got to actually have this game, that's all that matters. So Christmas is coming, bro. We're like, yo, pause on that. That was crazy. We're like a week out from Christmas. I ain't going to lie. Now, your boy Sin at this point was on his best behavior, bro. I felt like Drake, bro. I'm on my best behavior. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's the opposite of worst behavior, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I was really sitting in that bitch on my P's and Q's, bro. Sitting pretzel style and shit, watching TV, shutting the fuck up, bro. I'm not making no noise. Me and my brother not fighting, none of that, bro. I I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. Homework, going to school, coming home, doing my homework again, taking my shower, sitting the fuck down, bro. I'm doing everything I can to make sure I get this PlayStation. I'm putting that pain in, bro. True pain. Y'all know, growing up, when it comes to that Christmas month, your ass being geared, boy. You don't be playing no games with your mom or dad, bro, because you know Christmas is coming. Now, I should have saw the signs, bro. I should have saw the writing on the wall. This month was terrible, bro. Our electric went off for like four days during this month. Keep in mind, it's December. It's freezing, bro. Right around that time, 
we had a blizzard so it was just like residual snow and shit it was mad cold the heat isn't working because the electric is off when that bitch shivering bro having to use the gas stove for heat because the electric off bro the water working but it's cold the fucking pipes is like damn near freezing like it was bad i should have saw the signs how i'm gonna play a playstation one when i ain't got no damn electric and that's a playstation none <laughs> Ain't no PlayStation, bro. You, you want a PlayStation? Go outside and make one, nigga. Go to a playground. <laughs> bro, so I wake up on Christmas Day, bro. Go downstairs. There's no tree up, no decorations, no gifts. I go to my mom and I'm like, mom, it's Christmas. And she says, yeah, Merry Christmas, baby. And I'm like, mom, like, where are our gifts? She just looked at me. His sad ass look, baby. I'm sorry. There's, there aren't any gifts this year. What the fuck? What you mean? Ain't no damn gift. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> I ain't talking to my mom that way, obviously, bro. But I was really upset. I was like, damn. And this was kind of just like a cycle, bro. Like Christmas as a street, bro. You just be down bad some years, bro. It'll be some years you don't get nothing. Some years you might get something, but it's like a fucking coloring book or a word search or some shit. And then, you know, all your cousins and your aunts and uncles, they come around and come through to tell y'all happy, not happy, but Merry Christmas and shit. They bring you gifts, but they be crazy trash. Like motherfucking your aunt bring you a sweater and then your cousin come over and, and give you like a damn leftover Lego set. Like, oh, here's a Lego set, but there's like half the pieces missing because I got hungry. Like, <laughs> motherfucking eating Lego. Bro, like I'm just saying, bro, Christmas was trash when you're poor bro i'm not, I, i'm gonna be all the way real with you and then all your friends got all the fire bro all the gas bro you go to your homie tyrone house yo shit yo shit i ain't gonna lie son this christmas shine i got all types of shit son look at this shit son your boy tyrone got everything son mario kart shine look man i'm really on my shit right now shine i wish you Boy, throw a damn shell at me, son. I got this banana peel. You know what I'm saying, son? A big banana for a big boy. Go on that bitch. All your friends got their rooms made up and all that, bro. Stock is out. Christmas trees, like gingerbread houses. <laughs> You go to your house, bro. You walk in, bro. You don't, uh, not only do you not have any Christmas treats, bro. You have no treats, period, my uh, Like, you don't even got it. <laughs> Look in the fridge, bro. <laughs> Ain't nothing. It's a Kool-Aid picture in there with nothing in it. <laughs> Why is that in your fridge, bro? <laughs> That's the hood though. Now this is compared to the rich Christmas, bro. The rich Christmas is way easier to describe, bro. You get everything you want, bro. When you up, you know it's finna be lit. That's when you're mad excited at night. Your stomach churning, bro. You can't sleep. It was one Christmas I knew we was up crazy and I knew my Christmas was gonna be fire that I didn't even go to bed. My mom dead ass gave me my 360, my Xbox 360. She gave it to me at six in the morning, bro. I did not go to bed. I stayed up till six and got my shit. And I ain't gonna lie, I had to go get my games the day after with like my bread and shit. So I had to wait because everything closed on Christmas, you know that. So here I am playing goddamn Kung Fu Panda, bro. I'm playing the Kung Fu Panda game on my 360 all day and shit, bro. <laughs> it's better than nothing, but I'm tight. Cause I'm like, bro, where the actual games at, bro? I'm trying to play something crazy. That new Halo drop, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go dumb, you know what I'm saying? Here I am, bro. I'm playing this goddamn motherfucking goddamn Kung Fu Panda and shit. I'm trying to skidoo shit. <laughs> But I knew that it was lit, bro. My mom got me hella gifts. I got stocking stuffers. You know that you up when you got stocking stuffers, bro. You go downstairs and it's more, it's goddamn Nike socks and, 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 and Slim Jims and goddamn crosswords. Motherfucking a random deck of cards in your stocking, bro. You just got mad shit. You like, oh yeah, it's up. It's up crazy. And your mom cooking, yo, it's just good vibes. Hella gifts. And you know what I'm saying? It you smell the <sighs> the warmth in the air, my You can feel it, bro. That shit is that shit is in your soul, bro. You know it's gonna be a good Christmas, my nigga. You waking up mad early if you did go to sleep. You might have went to sleep at 2 a.m. You waking up at 5. Hey mom, can I open my gifts now? Your mom like, baby, calm down. Come back at seven. Seven? Oh, nah. Gotta wait till seven to open your shit, bro. You go to your friend's house, bro. 
and they still got better stuff than you somehow, bro. I remember that year I got that Xbox 360. I go outside, my man Tyrone had a motor scooter, bro. Motherfucker come past me like, yo, Shin, yo, Shin, check me out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Motherfucker hitting willies on the scooter and shit. I'm like, bro, come on, son. Yo, you still got better stuff than me? But it didn't even matter, bro, because I was up crazy, bro. And that are the differences, bro. When you poor, life sucks, bro. Life, you know what I'm saying? But I will say when you poor, you learn to like hold on to the to the to the things that matter more. I will say that when you poor, you learn to find fun where there isn't any. You learn to find good where there where there is bad. You learn to like overcome obstacles easier. Whereas when you have, you know, it's harder to bro because you like, man, I got everything. So you never in a situation in which you're hurting. So it's like you never have to overcome stuff. And I guess those are the biggest differences. So, you know, I'm grateful for coming up poor, bro. I wouldn't even be the man I am if I didn't. But it would have been nice to get that PS1, son. Waking up, bro. You ain't got no PlayStation, boy. Waking up and you got a goddamn, goddamn Nokia phone with snake on it. <laughs> Golly.